The Life and Sad Ending of Kyle Wagner Lyle Wesley Wagner was born April 13, 1935, in Kansas City, Kansas, the son of Marie and Myron Wagner, and spent a part of his childhood in Excelsior Springs, Missouri. Lyle has three sisters and one brother. In 1953, he graduated from Kirkwood High School in Kirkwood, Missouri, and then studied briefly at Washington University in St. Louis. He then joined the United States Army, serving two years in West Germany as a radio operator. Following his military discharge, Wagner studied mechanical engineering in the junior executive program at the General Motors Institute of Technology. He then sold encyclopedias door to door. He made his acting debut as a muscle man in a Kansas City production of Lil Abner after which he created a sales promotion organization that enabled him to make enough money to finance a trip to Los Angeles to start an acting career. By the mid-1960s, Wagner was appearing regularly in television and films, including an episode of Gunsmoke. He was a finalist for the title role in the TV series version of Batman, but lost the role to Adam West. In 1967, he appeared in Catalina Caper with Tommy Kirk, a former child actor trying to restart his career as a young adult, a film which would eventually be lampooned by Mystery Science Theater 3000. He also had a minor guest starring role in the season three episode Deadliest of the Species of the TV series Lost in Space. Also in 1967, Wagner began a seven-year stint on The Carol Burnett Show, a comedy sketch and variety show on which he appeared as an announcer and performer. In 1973, Wagner became Playgirl's first male semi-nude centerfold. Wagner left The Carol Burnett Show in 1974 in the hopes of advancing his career as a lead actor. His spot on the show was filled by frequent guest star Tim Conway. He later appeared on some of the show's reunion specials. A year after leaving Carol Burnett, in 1975, Lyle Wagner landed the breakthrough role of Steve Trevor in the Wonder Woman television series starring Linda Carter. Interestingly, in this pilot script for the series, Stanley Ralph Ross described the character of Steve Trevor as a Lyle Wagner type, which helped him bag the role. Initially set during World War II, when the subsequent two seasons advanced the timeline to the 1970s, Wagner later portrayed Street Steve Trevor Jr. In 1976, Wagner was appointed mayor of Encino, California by the local Chamber of Commerce. He also appeared in several TV movies and minor motion pictures during the 70s and 80s, often cast for hunk appeal. He made guest appearances on a numerous television series, including Charlie's Angels, The San Pedro Beach Bums, Happy Days, Mork and Mindy, The Golden Girls, Ellen, and, most recently, The War at Home. Wagner also played at least three roles on The Love Boat, Fantasy Island, and Murder, She Wrote throughout their respective runs. In 1979, Wagner founded Star Wagons, a company that leased customized location trailers for use by the entertainment industry. In 1990, Wagner co-produced and appeared in a consumer product show called Consumer America with co-host Sean Bruner. The series featured novel national products from self-help to home goods and lasted for about two seasons. Wagner retired from full-time acting to run Star Wagons, but made occasional appearances, often parodying his earlier image, The Naked Truth, That 70s Show, and Return to the Batcave. In 1993, Wagner was the host of an infomercial, Let's Talk with Lyle Wagner, which advertised Why Braun, supposedly a natural product that would cure male impotence. In his personal life, Wagner was married to Sharon Kennedy, an actress, financial consultant, and realtor. They married on September 17, 1961, and had two sons, Jason Kid Kennedy Wagner and Bo Justin Wagner. Sadly, Wagner died in his home in the Los Angeles area at the age of 84 on March 17, 2020, from cancer. He was cremated and his ashes given to family.